What's up guys, Max to 2 here today and today I'm going to do a very special video where I'm going to be showing you the move room all over again. Um, basically I've made some big changes in the room so I thought it was about time I did a new video. I know I tend to do one every couple of months but I obviously make a lot of changes in here so it's nice to get a new perspective. So uh, yeah, let's start. Uh, so as we go into the room you can see completely that the room has changed. Uh, we now have two recliner so, uh, armchairs here um, which I used to have in the old move room. Uh, I've moved those back up and I'm really enjoying this setup now. Uh, down here we've got uh, Freddy and Jason giving each other a hug. <laughs> uh, two door guards, uh, which scares my daughter every time she walks past, so I'm going to have to move them. Uh, just here we've got some random posters. We've got a Robert England autograph there, and the Godfather frame poster there, which needs a clean. So, yeah, as we come in, uh, we have the two chairs here, which are very comfy. One's leather and one's just got a throw on it. But it, they both are very comfy sofas, so well, set uh, armchairs even. So yeah, uh, up here we have some more framed posters. If we can get out the glare, so yeah, there's some uh, there's three individual posters either side, and then we've got a maxi poster framed picture of uh, Back to the Future in the middle. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Down here next to this leather sofa, we have my career movie collection. That's a footstool. Um, because the chairs can't actually recline out here, this one does, um, can recline perfectly, but that chair needs to pull out a bit if you want it to recline, so that's the reason I've got that footstool up here. Um, so yes, uh, this is the Korean movie collection, uh, you can't really see it because there's so much light in here today, it's that sunny and light, you can't tell what the hell anything is, so, but yeah, this is my Korean movie collection and up top there is my plain archive collection. So yeah, really sorry about the light. I'm not sure whether this will pick up better on video or not, but um, but yeah, that's my Korean collection anyway. It's really bright in here today. So, and up top there is a Melancholia poster, which again you can't really see. Um, so yes, if we spin round now, we'll see the whole reason the room has evolved like this. We have my new desk set up uh, for my office, uh, if you like. So it's half a move room, half office now, because obviously I'm now working on my uh, my. Uh, Korean cinema documentary, I need a space to work out of, to write the script, to edit, to record my audio, things like that. Uh, I've still got to bring my uh, new microphone back up, I've brought a new microphone which is brilliant, which is recommended to me by uh, Razor Eye Reviews, so yeah that's great. Um, so yeah we just got all sort of office favorite stuff here I guess, uh, just cables and boxes and things like that, so yeah, uh, enjoying working at this space at the minute. So yeah, uh, up here we have the... Uh, 3D poster of Nightmare on Elm Street, which is very cool. Up here we've got some Korean posters, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel, um, Inside Loon Davis, Memories of Murder, The Attorney, um, Dallas Buyers Club, and 12 Years a Slave. So yeah, they're pretty cool. I got those all from Korea, from my good friend John. Uh, across here we have three frame posters which haven't changed. I'm going to change them soon though. They've uh, remained the same for a while, so we've got the Shining, Melancholia poster from Plain Archive, and we have Fear and Loving in Las Vegas. So if we come down here now, we have the TV and the new setup. Uh, as you can see here, we have the <laughs> Blu-ray players that really need to clean. Um, on the bottom we've got my Region 3 Blu-ray player, on the top there you've got my 3D Blu-ray player, and at the side we have a HD DVD player which is now connected to the Xbox which is just there with two pads uh, and over there we have a old tape player well it's not a tape player it's a uh, real player if you've seen if you've seen the evil dead and you see the uh, real player that's uh, being um, played when they play back the voice uh, that the uh, archaeologist I think he was an archaeologist that he um, recorded and brought back to the dead. It's it's one of those recorders which is very cool, which my dad gave me. So it's very cool. I plan on using that as a skit eventually. Up top there, you've got my hard drive, uh, the pads, and again the TV really needs a clean. And you've got the 50 inch t plasma TV. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's sort of the perspective from this chair. So, um, but the other chair's directly in front of it. So I tend to sit in either one depending on. Uh, how much glare is in the room and how hot it is because obviously this leather is a lot cooler than that chair so because uh, it's very very hot here in the UK at the moment very hot so uh, and over here we have uh, the two units um, which has got the fan at the minute which are 
sort of point in that direction so it goes to the seats. Um, but yeah, we've got my old DVDs, uh, Xbox games, my old VHS tapes that I found from my mum and dad's before they moved. Uh, so I'm very lucky to have found those. First VHS tape that I ever brought. Uh, if I can get it out. Lord of the Rings. Um, so that's very cool. I bought that from Woolworths. So yeah, old VHS tapes out from when I was a kid. Uh, in here we have some posters. Uh, all my poster tubes. There's a ton of posters. All uh, rolled up. So I've got a lot of posters. I uh, received this one in the mail the other day, which I'm going to be putting up soon. It's a Tale of Two Sister ones for like Kim Ji Woon. So looking forward to uh, putting that one up. Some more Disney VHSs and some books that have been made into movies and the 1001 movies to see before you die book. Um, so yeah, up top here we've got the Iron Legend set and at the top of the Blu-ray cabinet we have my old 8mm projector, the silent projector. Uh, my clapperboard's behind there because it keeps falling over so I've rammed this against it. Uh, Doctor Evil. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the Alien Bust Edition. So yeah, and a cap. Uh, on the back of the door we have of course Johnny, still trying to get through. And over here we have the other Blu-ray collection. Uh, these are the, there's plenty of foreign films in here as well. I did have all the foreign films over there as well but decided to move them back because this collection was looking a bit bleak. It's only four shelves now so, because uh, obviously a, a lot of it was filled by the Korean collection so. Um, but yeah, box sets up top. Uh, again, some more box sets, digipacks, uh, uh, digibooks, uh, steelbooks, uh, criterions, uh, Eureka Masters cinemas, arrows, uh, slip covers, which carry on down there, uh, thin amarays, and standard amarays. So, yeah, as I say, the obviously that collection over there, um, which again you can't see, but um, this collection is a there's a lot there. Um, you can't really see it, but let's see if I go in a bit closer. No, you still can't see whatsoever. <laughs> Typical. Um, but yeah, that's that collection there. Uh, down here, I've got a Mike plush uh, toy. That was my daughter's, but she's forgot about it, so I've pinched it. <laughs> we have a Wally, me as the Godfather or the Good Father even, and my double digital sign that my dad made me, which is pretty cool. Uh, down here we have the Godfather box set, the Star Trek Into Darkness box set, the Terminator old VHS box set, which is rusted to fuck, and some movie books. So yeah. Read and speak Korean for beginners. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that is the movie room guys. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick little overview of what the room looks like now. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I think it looks a lot better now. And I'm finally happy for once with the way everything's looking. You can get around the room very easy, there's plenty of room to move. Uh, it's not cramped. The other sofa came out to sort of here, so there wasn't really much room to get past. But this is a nice amount of space, you can get around the room really easy. And uh, you know, it doesn't feel too cramped in here. I think with the sofa, it was just too much. So, yeah, you've actually got room to open the door now as well. So, door actually opens not by a lot, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty close, but. Luckily I managed to move them up enough. I did have this shelf in that corner, so when I do my videos here, uh, you could see the whole collection, but I had to move it because basically the door wouldn't the door wouldn't uh, shut. So decided to move that over there and I think it makes it look a lot nicer anyway, so and obviously it fills that bit of gap up there, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, so let me know your thoughts guys, let me know what you think of the new move room. Uh, did you prefer the old one or do you like this new setup? Uh, so yeah guys that's about it so thank you all very much for watching thank you for subscribing please comment and like down below and i will see you all in the next one guys bye